Hey guys, Takara here, welcome back to my channel. We're now in episode four of season nine of The Walking Dead. Let's just get straight into it. Look at my little sleeping beauty there. They've shown a lot of Michonne and Rick in bed together. Mummy Michonne, killing the game. People still sick. Is Michonne sick? She better not be. She's got something on her mind, hasn't she? Burning off some steam. Should I be nervous that they're focusing on Michonne right now? So maybe it was zombie blood that she wiped off her and she's not actually sick, even in the last episode. I'm nervous. I just got a horrible feeling. She better be safe. And I want you to be sure. I am. I'll be back when it's done. Wow, she's committed. And Jesus is disappointed. Heard monikers are from the great book. They're a starter set of dead Shakespearean characters needed in an endless pool. Thanks, Eugene. <laughs> I'm truly very sorry I didn't I do more. I love the way he looks at him. Thanks, maybe if I just well, read more books, engineering, motivational or otherwise, maybe we would have, maybe we could Don't do that. You're not just a guy who read some books. You made something. You got us here. After everything, that's everything. I feel like Eugene needed that. Yeah, he needed that. You can tell by his expression. That was a, that was a nice moment. To the kingdom. So she's not going in the Have sanctuary. There, Rick? What about the sanctuary? Well, I sent Alden to head off the group and lead them back. They don't want us there anymore, so it's up to them to figure out who they want to be. Giving up. Like you did. Like we all did. He's gutted. But if anyone gives me hope for how things can turn out, it's you. Doing a lot of motivational speeches lately, isn't he? Maggie's running down to Alexandria. Jesus thought you should know pronto. Oh, Jesus is... When did she leave? Don't know. Snitch, don't know. From the hilltop relay. Hey, L1, I need you to get an urgent message to Alexandria. If Maggie Ree shows up, delay her at the gate and alert Michonne right away. Do not oh, repeat. Dad, was listening. Do not let her in without an escort. We'll relay your message right now. Over. Is that Oceanside? Because they're on Maggie's side. Maggie's headed to Alexandria. She's about to do something she might regret. Hop on. I'll take you. Why would he do that? He's on Maggie's side. Is he going to drive him somewhere else? He's going to delay him. That was the way back there. I knew it. Freaking knew it. Pull over. What is this? You know exactly what this is. What the fuck, Daryl? I already called it in. Maggie's not making it through those gates. Yeah, that message didn't go through. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> yes, now they're in a hole. He's all good. <sighs> Such a good move, Daryl. The hunger strike ends today. Let him starve himself to death. Go for it, Nigga. And your ass wouldn't even be alive if it wasn't for Glenn. You wouldn't have found Lori. Okay. You wouldn't have found Carl. And you sure as wouldn't have found any of us. Didn't he get Glenn killed, you, though? Or did you forget? Did you forget of that... Not. I think about it every damn His day. death was on you? And Maggie, I hate what I did to her, what I took from her, but well, it's what not I have to do. She's still what she has to do. What, are you okay with that? Why the hell wouldn't I be? It worked. Keeping him alive is how we make sure he won't! No. Keeping him alive is giving him hope that it will. It is scary having him alive. So talk to her. She came to camp. She was coming around. Yeah, well, she was trying. The truth is, she just couldn't live with it. Just like Oceanside. There it is. Now he knows. You saying Oceanside killed those saviors? Yep, that's what he's saying. Hurrah. I'm saying they got what they deserved. If this doesn't work, if she kills 
Deacon. Every person who died died for nothing. Oh my God. Carl died for nothing. What about the rest of us? Asking us to have faith in all these other people. The truth is, you don't have enough faith in us. Oh, honesty. You know that's that's not true. He believes it's true. I'd die for you. And I would have died for Carl. You know that. You just gotta let him go. Let him go. I never asked anyone to follow me. I know. I know. Maybe you should have. What a powerful scene that was, holy shit. They both made some good points there. We would have loved to have a kid like Carl. I think about him every damn day. Carl wasn't here first, was he? I'd say you have about 10 minutes to clear this tray and then I'm gone. How did he die? Shut up, Negan. Leave her alone. He wasn't it? Did he have your eyes? His name was Andre. <sighs> Don't let him get in your head. Grateful for what? Don't even ask questions. Just go. Did Andre's go? Because you know all he would have done is make you weak. She's got Judith and she's got Rick. Yeah, starve yourself. Where we go? Oh, you being little nurse now? After smack him in the face and tying him up. Oh my gosh. This woman. You don't have to do this. Yes. I do. Well, you don't. I'm a better person because of you. And I'm sorry. It was all for nothing. It's just so cold. Change your mind, I... Jadis, please. I pushed her away because I was afraid, too. I see that now. But the beauty of God's love and forgiveness is that it is bountiful. And please. And I hope you can forgive me someday. Just like I forgive you. Whatever you have to do. Don't do it, please. Oh, I just Shit. Shit. Where'd you get the gun, Jed? Alden wasn't as quick as you. Oceanside's killing us. So now, being that it's war, they're gonna get what's coming to them. You're a weak little woman. Carol, weak, please. Yes, then. No! Let's back in the camp. It's gonna draw those herds. Hey, we got this. One, two, three. Ah! That's gonna stop, isn't it? Oh, no. Yep. Oh, no. no, it's standing still. Oh, Michonne, you've got no idea what's going on as well. Why did you say those things? I wasn't trying to piss you Don't off. Don't even give him the time you of day. Know, we are the same, and you can't stand that we're the same. They're not the same. Michonne has heart. We're not. Yeah, we do what we need to to get shit done. But you get a kick yeah. out of it. Yeah. Yes. Me? I'm trying every day to make things better. I do get strength from the dead, but I live for the living. My sons are gone. But this world is going to be better for my daughter and for every other oh my child God. that comes into it. What is wrong with me today? Oh. I need to see her. No. Please. Is he on about Lucille? We don't have your back. Yeah. <laughs> Where is she? What did you do with her? Still out there. No. It's the most emotion we get out of him when he's he thinks dead. that his bat's gone. That's so sad. I am going to see my Lucille. He's got more attachment to an object than a person. Okay. I guess it's because he sees his wife in the in the bat. <coughs> Out. <coughs> Why would you do that? Great. Can't fucking fall now. I'm tired just watching him. I'm like out of breath. Take my hand. Oh my god, Daryl, please. 
Now stop fighting now. I'm gonna stay back, lead him away from the camp. What? I'm staying. She left him a note. If you wanna go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go together. I need to go fast. So she's done one. He shed an actual tears over her as well after what she did. Damn. Whoa. Shit. Oh god. Is that through his side? That's through his side? No? He can't go like that. Horse there just chilling at the side. I am going to be so annoyed if that's how it all comes to an end. I'm really nervous now because one, he's on his own, two, the herd is extremely close, three, he's got the massive whatever it is through his side, four, no one knows that he's there by Daryl and Daryl is already on a mission back to Alexandria. Oh god, he's not got a walkie or anything with him has he? Oh, I'm so scared. I am so scared about that. Maggie's on her way to get Negan. Negan's got in Michonne's head. Well, then Michonne got into his head with the whole Lucille thing, which was good. I really thought this episode was brilliant because it had a lot of action in it, but most importantly, it had some really powerful dialogue. Daryl and Rick's dialogue was great. It's great, one, to hear Daryl actually talk in full sentences and not just grunt and also they've come so far together they've been through everything and this is sort of airing all the dirty laundry out and they they both said what was on their mind which was great and they both made some really strong points they did i'm obviously leaning more towards rick's side but daryl does have very good points like i don't blame him at all for wanting negan dead it's more like the fighting with rick and the the sneaking and things like that that's what i saw up have a, an issue with obviously he feels that's his only way but rick's little quiver when he mentioned uh, carl was just all oh, that hit me good and michelle when she was talking about her family and she was saying i've lost my sons i'm not gonna lose my daughter i was like oh right in the feels that was wasn't it we've got gabriel survived and spared him after you know torturing him she's done one and left him there and he seems cut up about it which i wish he didn't i mean she didn't treat him very well she has sex with him and then tries to kill him so a bit weird but you know you do you gabriel the moment between rick and eugene i thought was another powerful scene because you could see how appreciative and how much eugene needed to hear those simple words carol's speech as well saying that they're on their own they're gonna have to figure things out was also a good one because she knows better than anyone. Sometimes you just need your own time, gather your thoughts. We don't know what's happened there either. Obviously Jed had a revolt against the Oceanside and was trying to trying to start that war, but Carol obviously overpowered him. I mean, he's he underestimated her twice now. It's like, come on, mate. Maybe they'll calm that situation down because I know that some of them genuinely want to make things right. It's just the odd few, Jed, obviously, that I want in revenge. So yeah, that'll be interesting to see where that where that goes as well. It's such a good episode. I'm really happy with the way that this season has started. That one felt like a mid-season to me and it's only episode four. So I want more like that. I'm gonna be greedy and ask for more like that. That was absolutely fantastic. Gutted about that cliffhanger though and we have to wait a whole week to find out what's happened to him. Obviously, I'm hoping that someone's going to get him, but like I said, that looks like a hell of a rusty spike going through his side there, so it's going to be a risky one. I mean, after going through everything and then him dying by like a rusty nail, <laughs> it's going to be disappointing, but hopefully we'll see. We'll see what the doctor and Enid can do if he does survive it. Please, God, let, let him be okay. I'm excited to find out how they how they do it. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe, you know, if you want to. There's no pressure here. I now have a PO box if you want to send me anything. Link in the description. And I hope to see you again soon for another video. Thanks, guys. Bye.